Today we're going over how to install this electric strike and how to automate it via the Shelly One. If you work in commercial building, chances are you've seen this before. All you have to do is push this crash bar and then it will release this lever for you to exit safely. On the other side of the crash bar is the key slot for you to insert the key, to turn the key and then to open this lever and then open the door from the outside. Here's a close-up of this uh, whole lever right here. I'm not sure if that's what you call it. There's no way you can automate this thing. I see people ask a lot on how can you open this remotely via your phone or tablet. And there's just no way to automate this. On the door frame itself, this is what you would see. This is the strike. Luckily, we can automate this by making this an electric strike. Here's an Amazon product listing that we'll be installing for a client. You can see that this whole strike will be replaced with this electric strike. It's actually pretty easy to install. It looks scary, but don't worry, I'll guide you. So the first thing is to make sure that these two holes, one, two, can and will align with these two holes that already exist there. One, two. Measure everything accordingly. Measure twice, thrice, four times, whatever. Measure it to make sure that you can fit the electric strike into this door frame. Go ahead and start cutting it. I'm using a Dremel with metal blades to cut right through it. Here you can see I'm starting to use the Dremel again, but it just can't reach deep within. So I have to use the Milwaukee multi-tool with the metal blade to cut this metal. Cutting the metal is extremely dangerous, I should know, because one of this piece actually flew straight into my face. Even though I was wearing those chemistry goggles, it somehow still went through and then I went to the ER room for it. You don't want to know the bill. So it's best that you get a $20 face shield from Amazon and uh, wear that face shield to protect your eyes because sparks will be flying all over the place. Oh yeah, wear earplugs too. I'd highly recommend wearing earplugs, which I did. Here's another angle of the uh, metal frame that I have to cut. You can see that there's no way my uh, Dremel could reach in. So that's why I had to use my multi-tool. Once all is said and done, go ahead and fish this 18-4 wire into the door frame. There's four wires within this one white wire. It's blue, yellow, red, and black. There's an adapter to feed the electric strike 12 volts. So we're going to use that and we're going to mate that with this uh, black and red. This black and red will provide 12 volts to the electric strike. So the electric strike does not use electricity at all. It only uses power when you hit the push to release button and then it sends 12 volts to the electric strike for about uh, 10 to 15 seconds and then you can open the door. We're using these crimpers with the heat shrink to make sure that everything stays secure. The last thing you want is wires going loose inside the door frame and it's a mess just to pull everything out again. Here I use a heat gun to make sure that the heat shrink shrink and hold everything together in place. I didn't do it for this yet. This is the kit that I use. You can see that all you have to do is insert one wire into the middle right here. Use this crimp and then crimp it down, hold it into position. Repeat for the red core as well. Put it in halfway right here and then crimp it down. On the other side, you will use the other wire, feed it in here as well, go halfway and then crimp it. We're using this cheap power supply. It is not UL listed. I think that it should be fine because this is a crash door, meaning if this thing ever fails, all you have to do is just push the crash bar to exit. No biggie. So you saw previously the electric strike only uses two wires. And here are the other two wires that's going into this power supply. It goes into COM for black, red for NO, normally open. This white wire has four wires as well, of course, and this goes straight to the keypad. The keypad has RFID so people can enter the access code or use their fob. Blue goes into push, yellow and black goes into the ground, red goes into 12 volt. Here you can see that there's a delay, so you can change the delay from 0 seconds, I don't know why you would use that, to all the way to 15 seconds. So the electric strike will stay open for you to pull 
open within those time frame. The power supply requires 120 volt input, so we're using these uh, computer cable, thick computer cables that has three wires going in, black for the load, white for neutral, and green for ground. Connect green to green, black to black, white to white. And now you have power once you plug this computer cable into the power outlet. You know you have power because this red LED will stay on. This is all within an electrical box to protect everything, protect the circuits. We hit this electrical box high above the door so it's easily accessible to make changes as we need later on. I doubt that we'll ever need to make any change but that's an option for you. Oh yeah, when you automate this whole thing, you'll connect the Shelly into the push as well as the com. Go ahead, use a piece of wire if you want to make the contact from push to com and then the door strike will release immediately. So these two contacts is where we'll be using the Shelly one to relay contact these two com and push to release the door strike. You really don't need to have a push to release exit button. But if you want, you can always make the connection. Here you can see that I have the green and the green from the uh, push button connects to the keypad, which is pink. Another connection that we need is the yellow, which is NO from the button to the gray wire of the keypad. This is what it looks like from another angle. Here you can see that the black wire is coming from the keypad that's outside. This is the white wire that comes down from the power supply. And here's the push to exit button. All right, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful on how to install an electric strike. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to automate it using a Shelly One. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.